the Joe Rogan experience. You've also, since then, you've, you've had a bunch of surgeries. and 13 so far. And what, what started that off? Well, I, I kind of hurt my back in high school when I was powerlifting, and uh, then I hurt it again in college when I was playing football. Hurt my back and neck. And I did chiropractic for a long time. And then one day in the gym, uh, I heard it uh, like in 96. I kind of herniated a disc. And uh, I guess it just got worse over, over time. So when you herniated that disc, what did you do to treat it? Nothing. Uh, nothing. I'm with chiropractor. <laughs> chiropractor. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing chiropractic all my life. Yeah. So I didn't, you know, I didn't have a surgery or nothing like like that when I herniated that disc. They they offered me to to have surgery. I told no. <laughs> so the surgery they wanted to do was probably trim the disc down because yeah. mm-hmm. it was pushing against the nerve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, laminectomy, whatever they call it. Yeah, and um, so thirteen of those, huh? Thir- now, now well, no, no, thirteen no. surgeries. Eight, eight back, uh, like two or three hip, two or three, two, two or three neck. <sighs> And did this all like happen all at once, where it's like it, feel, it felt like everything was falling apart, or was it like you get a surgery and then you're better for a little while and then you hurt something else? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, because the first one was back, the second one was back, and then I think the third one was neck, and then uh, back, back, and hip, <laughs> back, 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 <sighs> hip. <laughs> <laughs> and now what what did you get done to your hips? You get your hips replaced? Yeah, yeah, both of them. Oof. And like, what was that? What year was that? 14, I think. Yeah, 14. And how are those now? Uh, I just had a hip surgery uh, in January. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's holding up a little bit better now. Uh, one one kind of went bad. The uh, socket's broke. Oh. And they had to replace both of them. And uh, they say they only last a certain amount of years, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Every night I had the uh, titanium ones, and the titanium are the, the hardest ones because they rough and you know, they titanium and they kind of hard on the body. Oh yeah. And because of that, you know, and me working out and all this kind of stuff, and it kind of just broke the socket. Well, I follow you on Instagram and uh, I watch your workouts, and it's it's inspiring that after all this, you still love working out. I mean, yes, you, you can really tell. I mean, you enjoy it. Still a hobby. <laughs> Look forward to it every day. Does it give you any pause at all, knowing that you've been through all these surgeries? And nah, no. <laughs> you know, when you're doing something that you truly love, enjoy, and doing, that's what you look forward to doing all the time. So really, regardless the- of you know. How you feel, you know. Of course, I'm still in pain and all that kind of stuff, but... Are you in pain all the time? Yeah, but as long as I'm doing what I love doing, I'm okay. If you take that away, then <laughs> I right. probably won't be okay. <laughs> but so it just even sitting here right now, you're in pain? Uh, just a minimum amount. It's nothing, nothing major. You know, if you're an athlete, you're in pain all your life. Yeah. I mean, I can remember... In, High school and college, you know, I, I was in pain some days. Uh, all the time. All the time, yeah. So after a while, you kind of get used to it and it doesn't really bother you. That's um, why, you know, I'm, I'm imagining that you have a spectacular tolerance for pain. Yeah, I have a high tolerance. I remember when I herniated my disc, I finished my workout. Oh. I was squatting 600. I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> I was coming up on rep number eight, and all of a sudden, pow! It was a loud gunshot sound. You know, I, I do 600 for like 12, 13 reps all the time. This time I took a couple weeks off, and I thought I was still as strong as I was, you know, when I took the time off, but I wasn't. I lost a little strength, and that's why that disc snapped on me like that. I heard it, and I felt it, but you know, the athlete in you is like, you know, let's let's go on, finish, let's finish this up. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished up, you know, I did my leg press and some other exercises. And every time after I finished working out doing legs, I always had a a, a real bad pain in my back. Every single time, but it would always go away 
in like an hour. This day it didn't. And I was, I just went home, ate, put on my uniform, was headed to work. And I'm like, wait a minute, my back is still hurting. This it's two hours, almost two hours later. Something's wrong. I ain't going to work today. I'm going to emergency room. Oh wow, it was yeah. that bad. Yeah, it was that bad. Yeah. And so he went to the emergency room. And they're probably like, "What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the size of this guy?" <laughs> yeah, like we don't see nothing wrong with your back. Yeah. They probably couldn't get to it. Well, they, they, so they did an X-ray. They did an X-ray, and they like, they like we don't see anything. Mm. So that's when I had an MRI a couple of days later and found out it was herniated. Mm. So I stayed at home for a couple of weeks and uh, sat on the couch and didn't do anything. And two weeks later, I went back to the gym. First exercise was squats. Oh, my God. <laughs> did it hurt so, again? No, no, no. no. I, I was getting ready for a show. So, so it was okay? Yeah, it was okay. Two weeks after you herniated your disc, you're doing squats again? Yeah. Well, With how much weight? I only, I only did 300. Oh, only 300. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most I could do for 10 reps, you know? Wow. <clears throat> 10 to 12 reps, so I'm like, okay, this is good enough, you know? But you knew that something was wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do 600 no more, you know, so. So after that, how long before you got your first surgery? 10 years later. 10 years. Ten years. So later. it was just intolerable pain. Like what yeah. was going on? I couldn't, I couldn't walk like no more than like twenty five feet without really? my my leg being on fire. Oh wow! My feet being on fire, and then in a lot, a whole lot of pain. Wow! So I knew <laughs> it's time to get some serious done here now. So what was the first? Did they fuse it? Laminate, laminate me. They shaved it off. Okay, so that was the first one. Yeah, yeah. Now I was, I was good for a while. You know, I went back to squatting and everything. And this no is a, while you're still Mr. Olympia. No, you know, I had retired. That was I retired in '07, so I had my first surgery in '07. Okay, so this is after you retired. Yeah, you're not mm -hmm. doing too bad. Mm -hmm. Just in a little bit of pain. Yeah. So how does it all go down from, hill from there? I don't. I think maybe the, you know, the second, about a year or so later, I started having problems again, being in pain again. Same area. Same area. So Were you like, squatting heavy still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Six hundred pounds still, that kind of stuff. No, because I wasn't competing, so I was probably doing about four or five hundred, somewhere in there. But then, you know, it's still kind of heavy. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, I don't have, I didn't have the weight I used to have either. You know, I wasn't three hundred and some pounds no more. So it was a little bit more difficult. So it, it just kind of went bad on me again, and I had to have another surgery. Same kind of surgery? They trim more off of it? <sighs> Actually, they did what you call like a, I forgot actually what they did. It's been so long ago. That was back in like. Like 2008, 2009, somewhere in there. They kind of like did a ref refresher. Like they, I think they did trim a little bit more off it though. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it was all pretty much kind of like down here from there. And so after that injury and that surgery, then how, do, how, does you, how do you wind up with the, the other 11 surgeries? Well, <clears throat> I think like the first time you herniate a disc, it's like you you stack a bunch of cans on top of each other and you snap one out. Well, after a while, the other one's going to start falling out of place too. And that's kind of what happened. You know, the other did start just herniating on their own. Of course, I was working out too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I still have one now. You got a herniated disc now? Mm-hmm, yeah. How many discs have you had operated on? All of them. All of them, every single disc. Every single one. So this one that you have a herniated disc on now, have you already had it operated on before? No, this will be the first time. But this, this is the last, the last one. one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so, what do they do with your back? They basically fuse everything together now. Yeah. Uh huh. So everything. the whole spine is fused. Yeah. Wow. Uh, neck and back. How much mobility do you have? I mean, I can still, you know bend over and tie my shoe and do all that kind of stuff. But your back is one solid piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's no, like, articulation of your discs and your 
Your spine, your no, spinal comma, no, nothing. No, wow. Nothing like that. What does that feel like? Uh, I mean, I guess it just feels kind of normal after a while. You know, you get used to it. Uh, it happens over time, so it's a, like a gradual thing. So it's not, it's not all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. So it's just like one day, you know, you know, I, I used to be able to just <laughs> bend over and do all these stretches, these crazy stretches. Well, I can't do all that no more. Yeah, you know, I can just bend over a little bit, you know, and do a minor stretch. Now, <clears throat> are the doctors are they confident that this is the last one? <laughs> I mean, you've got them no. all fused. Yeah, it's always something, though. You know. Yeah. Yeah, when you an athlete and you're always working out and always in the gym, it's gonna always be something. You just accept that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a you're for, used to it after a while. For a lot of people, that's a hard thing to accept. This <laughs> idea that you're just gonna keep smashing your body, but that's just you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've got used to it now. It's been so it been, been happened to, like oh seven, what is uh, thirteen years now. Wow. Hmm. Now, um, are you in this wheelchair all the time? No, no. I I don't have crutches. It's just that uh, I left them at home. <laughs> I can walk uh, maybe about from here to that wall unassisted, but you know after after so so after being up for so long, my legs get real weak. And is it because of your back? Yeah, because of my back. Is it something being that's fused. like cutting off the nerves or something? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Cutting off the nerves. Yeah. And is there anything they can do about that? Oh, uh, I mean, you know. Maybe one day they'll come out with something that'll help get it stronger. I was thinking about trying the stem cell thing. Yeah. Yeah. They said that, that should help a lot, too, right there. Well, there's a, a bunch of places that they do it where they could do it with a lot stronger stem cells than they could do in America. Like they, yeah. A place in Colombia does it, and um, there's a place in Panama that I actually sent my mom. Yeah. My mom, they wanted to uh, give her a knee replacement, and um, doctors just— they want to operate right away, and I was like, mm. "I want like, let me let me see yeah. if we can send you down to Panama. Let me see if Doctor Reardon, he'd been in here before with yeah. uh, Mel Gibson, and he was talking about Mel Gibson's dad, and Mel Gibson's dad was in real bad shape when he was 92, mm. and then wow. now he's 100 and he's fine. I mean, wow. just gone back there a bunch of times, keeps going back for stem cells. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, my mom was scheduled to get a knee replacement. I sent her down to Panama. And six months later, it started to feel good. Eight months later, no pain at all. Yeah. It, it, it really did a great—and then I sent her down a second time. It's, it's pretty amazing stuff, what they can do. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's my thing to do next. And, yeah. And uh, people I've talked to, they, they uh, think it will do me a lot, of, a lot of good. So is it there's scar tissue around the nerves that's pushing against the nerves now? Because if all the discs are gone mm -hmm. and everything's fused, what's irritating the nerves? Scar tissue, uh, all that hardware. I got 14 screws, two, <sighs> two cages. Uh, I got two rods about this long in there, too. So it's a lot of hardware, a lot of cages. and uh, What do the cages look like? <laughs> so it's a cage around your spine? Yeah, yeah. What do, and what's the purpose of that? I hold this together. Keep them in place. Yeah, you know. After a while, they they, they don't want them to come loose, so they right. put cages around them, keep them together. So you're like RoboCop in there. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. <laughs> so I got that in in my neck and back. You have a cage in your neck? Yeah. Uh huh. You got an X-ray of any of this shit? Yeah, I sure. Where do. is it at? Is it online? <laughs> I have posted a couple times online. Yeah. On your Instagram page? Yeah. Uh -huh. See if you can find any of that, <laughs> Jamie. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. You you just laughing about it like you're fine with it. <laughs> well, you get used to it after. <laughs> but it's is it also that you look at like you're a legitimate legend, and so do you look at it like, hey, this is the the price that I paid to be a legend? Yeah, uh, I look at it like. Hey, I'm still alive and I can still work out every day. I, I'm still normal, so I'm good. Wow, <laughs> that's a great healthy attitude, man. Yeah. And you're obviously still huge. You're still very strong. Yeah, well, I'm not as strong as I used to be. I'm not as big as I used to be either. I'm only like 250 now, you know. But when you say that, 
you're you're judging it on you being a multiple time Mr. Olympia. That's not a regular person <laughs> no. saying I'm not as big as I used to be. Like you can't stay that big. It's not possible. No, no, no way, no way. Yeah. yeah. How many years I can't do you think, eat like that no more? Right. I bet it's nice I, to just I be eat, able to eat when you want. I don't eat half the food I used to eat. I can only imagine. Yeah. 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 I only eat, I, I used to eat six. I only eat three now. That's a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything, Jamie? Oh, that's going to be hard to find. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, oh <laughs> my God. That's crazy. That's what a cage looks like? Uh-huh. Yeah. <sighs> wow. All that that stuff's heavy duty. The size of those screws in that picture on the left. Yeah, they're about three inches long, two to three inches long. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they got screws on the end of them, bolts on the end of them. You, you can Ooh. see on the end right here. On that one, mm-hmm. on the last, those are bolts right there. So and all the big screws <clears throat> in between there too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that goes all the way up. <laughs> God, all the way up your whole back. Yeah. So there's to no. To my neck. To my neck. My neck is the same way. Wow. Four, three, four, five, and six. And so in doing this, they've saved your back, but they've all the hardware is what's fucking with your nerves. Yeah. Yeah, all the hardware, yeah, it's, it's pinching on the nerves, causing pain and stuff. Like and what that. does the doctor say about that stuff? I ain't nothing they can do about that. It's, it's just it's going to be like that. They said they can take the screws out maybe one day, but it's a, it's a it's a major surgery to do that. Yeah. You know, they got to cut me from all the way top to bottom and, you know, take all those out. There's 14 of them. That started from the top all the way down to the bottom. Would that be possible that if they did that, it would alleviate some of the pinching on your nerves? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Have you thought about it? Yeah. I, I just went to the doctor and talked to him about it uh, last week. Oh, yeah? What does he say? He said, I got another herniated disc. Oh, boy. <laughs> and they need to fix that before they think about taking and it And where's out. the one that's herniated? The new one that's herniated? It's up top. See, all the, one, the lower ones are already fused. Just the one... On the, on the top is the one that's herniated now. Now, is it bulging or is it herniated? Uh, I, he said herniated, so. Mm. Pushing out. I, I had a bulging disc that I had fixed with something called Regenikine. Have you ever heard of Regenikine? No. They invented it down in uh, Germany, and uh, a lot of uh, athletes like Kobe Bryant and Peyton Manning, oh, yeah. they all went to Germany. It's uh, like this yeah. uh, blood-spinning procedure. Have you yeah. heard of it? Yeah, I've heard yeah. of it. Yeah. They do it in America now. They have an office in Dallas. They have an office in Santa Monica. And I went to the one in Santa Monica. And um, they they take your blood out. They spin it, and they apply some medication to it. And then it becomes this yellow serum. And then they inject the, ye- the yellow serum directly into the area where the disc is. And it alleviates all the inflammation, and the disc slowly goes back into place. For me, within two weeks, I had extreme relief. Oh, within okay. two weeks. And then now there's no no bulging disc at all. I went back a couple, after I did the full round of treatments, mm-hmm. which I think was, if I remember correctly, five or six different treatments. I went back, I got a new MRI, and there's no bulge anymore. Yeah, that's sort of like what they do when they do a PRP. Yes, it is like PRP. It's just more advanced. Yeah, it's just yeah. another level of yeah, PRP. They do the injection thing. Yeah. Did you do the PRP? Yeah, I did all that. Did that help your neck at all? No, I didn't do anything for me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it did in my neck and back, actually. Well, I would I would wonder what would help you, like stem cells and 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 then yeah, that's gonna be the screws out pretty too. much the only thing gonna help me, I think. So all this stuff with your legs, though, that wasn't the case before the screws and before all the no, no, no. Yeah, I would imagine that's what's going on, man. Yeah, it's all yeah, fused up, it. right? It doesn't no. have to have, be screwed in, right? No, no. no. That's why I went to the doctor, because they said after about a couple of years, everything would be... Fused up? Uh, yeah, fused up, and mm-hmm. I could take the screws out. Well, so does the doctor want to operate on your neck as well? No, he, he just fixed my neck a year ago. But the new bulge? Yeah, yeah this is the new bulge in my back now. Oh, it's in your back? Yeah, this is my oh. back, yeah. Oh. That's uh, why... I, that, that's, that was the result of a CAT scan I had done uh, last week. Damn, dude, you, you're at a hospital like every couple of weeks, or...? <laughs> <laughs> no, it seems like it though. But uh, I, I, I was just wanting to get the screws out because I'm, yeah. you know, it's been a long time and still in pain. And like I said, it's still pinching me and still got, you know, the nerves being pinched. 
And I think, you know, my legs are numb, too. My foot's totally numb. Yeah. And I I was thinking maybe if I took the screws out, I'd get some of this numbness to go away. Yeah. And I'd get some strength back also. Do you think you're going to wind up doing that? If possible. One day I would like to. Man, I'm hoping someone hears this that's a specialist that has a solution for you. How many different doctors have you seen? Uh, right now, just one. Just the one doctor? Mm -hmm, just the one. Hmm. Is that yeah. a local guy near you? Yeah, yeah, local guy. Yeah. Uh, in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Also, my first surgery, my, no, 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 probably like my fourth or fifth one. They operated on me for about 13 hours. They cut me in the front, turned me over on the side, cut me on the side, and then they put me on my back and cut me on my back. Jesus. And uh, that gave me a lot of problems. That started the uh, immobility thing right there. And what was this surgery? I was, I was good until I had, did that surgery. What, what kind of surgery was that? Was it another fusion? Yeah. Why do they have to cut you in so many places? Because they had to fuse so many discs, oh. put in so many screws. And uh, that was in 15, I think. Wow. In 16, uh, December 15, I remember getting off the plane in Russia. And, uh, in Russia? Yeah. You got yeah. that done in Russia? No, no, I remember getting off the plane in Russia, and I'm like, man, my back is hurting. <clears throat> and I was walking fine to the hotel the next day, uh, my mobility got worse. And the day after, I was on crutches. And I've been on, on them ever since. Just so out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, yeah. And how, how far out from the surgery was this? The <clears throat> surgery was like the next month. Oh, so this so, was before the surgery? Yeah, this is before, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then they cut you open the front, the side, the back, and then everything's downhill from there. Yeah, it, yeah everything went down here from there. Man. I'm really hoping that somebody listens to this and some doctor hears about this. Well, one thing is you're in Fort Worth. Dr. Reardon is actually, his office is in Dallas. So it's pretty close to you. Yeah, it's real close to me. I'd love to connect you to him yeah. and see if there's anything that he could do. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm always looking to get better because these crutches are get, getting on my nerves. I can time. only imagine. After well, five years now. And a, a guy who is a, the level of athlete that you were when you exactly. were in your prime. That's got to exactly. be very... And how old are you now? I just turned 56 two weeks ago. Well, you look great. Well, I'm still working out every day and uh, eating good. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if they could do something to yeah, I like to get turn my, this back around. Yeah, I, I like to get my strength back. Yeah, I, I guarantee Dr. Reardon could probably help. Yeah. I don't want to guarantee, but I, he's <laughs> he's a real expert in, you know, uh, stem cells and yeah. the, the benefits of stem cells. Well, maybe I can give him a call. Yeah, I'll connect day. you two for sure. Yeah.